Tuesday evening, I realized I had started my period for the first time in like three years. It's never just one thing. Like. <laughs> so this is the start of it, but it's like, I, I can feel it all under here. It's swollen and tender and it's hot to the touch. It's really important that they figure it out while it's still small. Yeah, it's not a huge infection thing for yeah. you. This is my friend, Sam. Hi. She is one of my friends from church. Uh, I've been mentioning church friends here and there, and this is one of them. They do exist. Not yes. Making them up. Yes. So she was very nice to come spend time with me today in the hospital, and her husband, Johnny, who helped Judd pack up the house because, as you all know, we're moving soon. Yay! Moving! And I'm in the hospital. Not yay. <sighs> I'm trying my hardest to get out of here. We thankfully now have gotten my symptoms under control but I still need like hospital level intervention as far as medications and treatments goes. I'm not quite safe to go home yet, but we are optimistic because between my surgeon and the other doctors, we've kind of figured out what has caused this and now we know how to best approach it. And uh, it's gonna get a lot uglier before it gets better, but at least we know how to make it better, hopefully. Yes. So I've talked about this once before. I'll put a video with you. Oh, it's in your head, so it's like the caption it comes above your head, so I'm just used to putting Up here. <laughs> yeah. Watch that video if you haven't. Um, it's where I give some information about like my hormones, my periods, and chronic illness. Um, because they can intertwine. But as for me, the past two and a half to three years, I haven't had my period. My gynecologist said it was most likely because my body's already under so much stress. It just didn't happen. You can also stop having your period if you become malnourished, um, like I was not too long ago, even though I'm not malnourished anymore, but there were just some reasons. And um, Judd and I have no kids on our radar anytime soon. You know, it's, it's a big decision. First of all, <laughs> it is. My health is. needs to be in a place where I can be the mom I want to be. Um, Judd and I still are really enjoying, enjoying just our married life with Harlow, so will we have kids? Maybe. How will we have them? Don't know. Um, <laughs> but right now, they're not on the radar. So anyways, I have the normal birth control pills. It's like, what, three weeks of the real pill? And yep. then the fourth one's a placebo. Yep. I've taken the placebo, and nothing happened. I want to go my period. Okay, whatever. Better for me, because I know it would probably not make me feel very well. Mm -hmm. Well, for some reason on Monday... I started to get really bad pain in my like lower intestinal area and I thought it was intestinal spasms but it didn't f quite feel the same and things just got worse and my mast cells started acting up. I had kind of severe reactions that shouldn't have happened because I had just recently gotten my Zolaire injection. I just, there was a lot of weird symptoms and then on Tuesday things just got worse and worse and I ended up going into anaphylaxis where my throat was swelling shut. I used my EpiPen and Somehow in the blur of that Tuesday evening, I realized I had started my period for the first time in like three years. Needless to say, I think my body kind of went into like protest. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. But that's not the only thing. <sighs> I'm, I'm <laughs> mad at Jed. She keeps saying, good job, Jed. I'm like, why? Oh, it's all Jed's fault. We blame him. So I have this thing on the back of my leg. It's hardly noticeable, but it's hurting me. And Judd said, tell your surgeon when she comes for rounds. And I'm like, okay, I, I didn't think about it. I wasn't intentionally not gonna tell her, but it wasn't on the forefront of my mind. Cause I knew, I feel, I just felt like I knew in my heart that it was gonna be issues. Judd told her, she looked at it and it's the beginning of an abscess or cellulitis. She said she can pretty much guarantee that's MRSA there cause of my terrible history with MRSA. And so she's calling infectious disease and probably what we're gonna have to do is start IV antibiotics at least for some time because if y'all followed my journey, you know that when I get an infection, my mast cell disease and like everything really flares up dangerously. And the only antibiotics that are very effective for me are IV because of my absorption things. And IV antibiotics are very hard on my body. So I need help to manage the side effects from the hospital. It's kind of like this weird, 
vicious, annoying cycle, but the plan is to talk to infectious disease, get me started on antibiotics, probably start with a few days of IV antibiotics here in the hospital. Once that little infection on my leg starts to clear up, which it better clear up, then we can probably switch to antibiotics for my J-tube. Um, and I have to use IV Dapto. If those of y'all remember me using it last year, it's like, it's really not pleasant, but you got my friend here. Just yes. Huge, huge pick me up. Thank you. And then, you know, I've got Harlow and Judd and they're gonna manage my pain and my symptoms. And usually I'd be really apprehensive and like, or I don't know if I, I remember last year whenever they said I had to do IV antibiotics, I would like really fight it. But this time I was like, okay, if that's what needs to be done, if that's what's gonna work, let's do it because I need to get out of here. We're closing mm -hmm. on our house soon. We have our walkthrough on Wednesday. Like, I'm, I'm getting out of business, y'all. I'm yeah. gonna beat my body back into order. Yeah, it's really important that they figure it out while it's still small. Yeah, it's not a huge infection thing for Yeah, you. so hopefully with a couple of treatments, they hit it hard. It'll clear up sooner than the last one that you had. Yeah, yeah. But it's never just one thing. Like, <laughs> Big props to you because we've been hanging out, um, but not obviously in this setting in the hospital. Right. And when I'm like withering in pain, when my stomach suddenly blew, <laughs> what did you say? I, my stomach started swelling again with the angioedema from my <laughs> mast cell. She was like, I saw it grow. Yeah, it was like airing up like a balloon. It was like, <sighs> did you think like monster was gonna pop? Yeah, like yeah, a little alien baby. Oh boy. <laughs> No real babies anytime soon, just a little alien. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> so, um, it's been nice. Uh, we actually, the four of us went to Disney not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, and we had a great yeah, time. That was, that was the first time, like, so she and Jordan are our age and they're married, and finding a young married couple is like finding a unicorn. So, Jen and mm -hmm. I were pretty happy about that. Not that we don't hang out with people who aren't married, but right. if you're in our situation, I'm sure you can relate. Um, yeah. But, we went to Disney and Judd had a great time with them because he hadn't met them yet. I had been hanging out with them. Mm -hmm. But he did tell me he went. We, let, we parted ways to go to our car after the, a day at the park. And he's like, so what are their names again? Like, did you just go the whole day without knowing their names? He's like, of course I did. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Yeah. But I don't know. I think we had fun today, even though it was in the hospital. Yeah. I beat you at trouble at your game. She did. She's very good. Props. I feel good. Yeah. You were the queen. No, my mom's the queen now. She's Ooh. really good. I haven't won in too long. We'll have to do a rematch. Yes. And my nurse is coming in, so see y'all. That's kind of all we had to update. Yep. See you in a bit. So I don't know. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is the start of it, but it's like, I, I can feel it all under here. It's swollen and tender and it's hot to the touch. Um, so my surgeon <sighs> called infectious disease. What is the what am I sitting on? <laughs> oh, hold on. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> Don't judge me, I wanna shave my legs because they're so prickly. <laughs> and I actually feel like my symptoms are managed right now. You wanna come to the girls party in the bathroom for a little? <laughs> <laughs> but um, my surgeon got a hold of infectious disease and she wants me to do an OBGYN consult because my period thing kind of sort that out, but we're not really Ooh. gonna. <laughs> Harlow's <laughs> Harl like, um, you're not filming, excuse me. <laughs> oh, you're so needy. <laughs> Both of us are. <laughs> <laughs> I hear food. The boys are back with food. The boys are back. Mm -hmm. The boys are back. We're all in the bathroom. So, yeah, probably tomorrow I'll get my consults and have more info for y'all. Is she getting comfy? Oh, she's trying to, it's not going so well, you don't fit. She's assuming the position. What's gonna happen in a few minutes, babe? What? What's happening in a few minutes? Game of Thrones in 14 minutes. Yeah, so we didn't get to see it in our new house like we'd hoped and we're but in the we'll hospital, which we the definitely second episode. didn't hope for. What? Maybe not the second episode. By the end of the season, we will be in our new house. <laughs> yeah, and even though we got some frustrating news today, this has been my, one of my best days here at the hospital. Like, we're managing my pain and reactions well. My friends were here, and we laughed so much. Um, and then even when I really wasn't feeling well, and just like, all I could do was try and get through the pain, they were cool with it too, so. So we had a good time with our friends. Now we're gonna watch Gut. 
Who's your favorite character? Tell me. I love Jon Snow. Minutes. He's freaking out. I love Jon Snow. I love Daenerys. Tyrion. I like a lot of people. Judd and I. Oh, who do we not? The Hound. <laughs> who do we not like? Uh, Cersei. No, you call him. He hates Bran. Oh, Bran. He's got God. such an attitude. Screw that guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm the three-eyed three raven. raven. <laughs> who gives a flying curse word? <laughs> He's real passionate about that. But I get to watch this episode, and then, unfortunately, we have to start the IV antibiotics. Um, and unfortunately, I'll probably be here a few more days, but at least we have a plan. Because, like, we were managing my symptoms, but I wasn't really getting better. So, I've got some treatments to start, some progress to make, and a few consult teams like doctors to meet with before I go home but at least we know what we're dealing with now he's cool so he wears his sunglasses indoors and uh, yeah, if y'all are watching God then I was about to say may the force be with you that's not it oh my god <laughs> before you can yell and at me good night seven hells Jesus beans <laughs> and thanks for what? joining us on our adventure seven hells.